Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I ordered a washing machine universal motor speed controller on eBay and it arrived in the mail. Um, it's come from Russia. I'm not sure if it's a homemade thing or if it's some kind of half processed thing, half factory made thing, but this is uh, what it looks like. I just haven't seen it before. I've seen what eBay has to say about it. It's a regulator stabilizer of collector motor. So uh, the English is pretty good. So you can see, let's get a better look at that and you can freeze frame that if you want and you can freeze frame that if you want. It tells you how to connect it, gives you some recommendations. I'll read through all of this and then it's got a wiring diagram on the back which is pretty useful. So you, it uses the tachometer that comes with the universal motor uh, to give it a signal so that it can tell what speed the motor is going at and it doesn't give you a speed RPM readout. You could probably add one of those quite easily with a uh, digital taco. So I don't know that the one I got has it, but some of them have a switch reverse um, setup, so you, you can put this switch in yourself. It's just a double pole switch, I think, to reverse the direction of the motor, but it just says don't do that when the motor's running. Otherwise, I guess it puts a back EMF into the thing or something like that, and it can't handle that. Getting into it now, it's pretty simply wrapped. Came in a nice clean new cardboard box, which is not how I sell stuff on eBay. Let's get that saved there for later and it's just a circuit board with some cables to a potentiometer by the looks of things Does it feel okay everything feels tight on there it's got some little mounting screws so you can mount it in a box i guess with what looks like m three and a half or m4 the pot the potentiometer it's a single revolution so what's that it's not even a single revolution it's about Three quarters or seven eighths of revolution. It's a very small heatsink. I guess the guy who's designed it has thought that it's big enough, but for me it looks to be quite small. Let's get a good look at this here, like this. Let's get some more light. A bit more light here now. So, if I recall from the instructions, these three blue boxes uh, with the little brass screws let you tune in the speed, if you want to call it that. Got your power in over here, it says AC in, written upside down, let's turn it the other way up. Uh, taco in and motor drive, and I guess you've got to wire the motor up in the normal loop fashion that, you, that we do whenever I wire it, and you can look at my other washing machine, how to wire universal motors um, videos for that. It's got a little indicator light here, 3 volt, I'm not sure what that's for. It's got a chip on off, I don't know what that is there. If you know any of these things, um, tell me in the comments, because I'd be interested to know. Um, the guy who's making these, I think, has posted some videos on YouTube, and they're good, but they're in Russian, and that is not ideal for me, and I guess I'm not affiliated to this guy in any way, but um, it might be helpful for him. So here's the, the thing that we've all come to see. In the center, the chip is a, let's get the light on it, TDA1085C. See this guy here, this little black guy? That's what does the business um, and understands what's going on. And if you Google the data sheet on that, you'll see how, how it works and what's inside. There's lots of circuitry inside that, and then it gives a diagram for how to lay out a board. But I don't think this board is exactly like that. Um, I thought about making one, but it seemed to be a lot of work. I only wanted it at the time for wrecking washing machines. So direct wiring them and using a variac was a far simpler method, not necessarily cheaper, but a simpler method for, for doing it. Yeah, I don't know much about circuits. <laughs> There's a couple of diodes, a couple of resistors. It's uh, it's pretty clean, pretty well laid out. Under is that that's a fuse in underneath there, I think. It's a rubber cover on it. I mean, it won't interfere too much with anything. It looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. This was about um, about thirty pounds delivered from Russia. It's quite a neat little circuit board. It's, it's quite well made, I reckon. I will the proof of the pudding and whatnot. What's that control unit there? BTA24. This, uh, there it is, BTA24. So I'll have a look at that. It'll be some kind of a, maybe IGBT or maybe not, maybe a MOSFET or something like that. But yeah, um, that's a quick look at it. I'm not going to wire it in just now. I'll do that another day in another video, but I'll post this now and let's see see what people think of it and if anybody has any observations before I wire it in TDA 1085C motor speed controller and that'll be really good I don't know what m.u.design is that might be the circuit board or that might be the guy who made it I don't know 
There doesn't seem to be any other details on it other than to say what it is. <clears throat> and it's a speed regulator as well. So I think one of these blue boxes is the max speed, one is the min speed. And uh, then you can kind of fine tune it as you go with this. I, I don't know, we'll, we'll put it together and we'll see. But yeah, it looks good to me. I'm kind of glad I've invested in it now because I want to use this on the big grind, grindstone project. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it has enough pull within it that it doesn't overheat trying to get the grindstone started. But, um, well, if I blow it up, well, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.